I'm Chris, and I'm from Pennsylvania. I've considered myself, um, you know, a Republican from early on. I registered Republican right around, you know, eight, when I was 18. The Republican Party, you know, grew out of this movement, um, you know, that was really trying to secure these, these foundational rights, Romney and McCain and Bush, and, you know, been pretty proud of my voting legacy, and all of them had something um, you know, to contribute to the office, office of the president. All, all of them looked at the office of the president seriously. Um, you know, I felt like, you know, Trump's been sort of a lampoon of a, a politician, and I've never liked, um, you know, the politics of division. I've never liked spin. I could also see the dangerous effects of things like, um, you know, conspiracy, baseless conspiracies. Um, taking root within the party. A lot of the reason why, you know, is is preying on the, the worst fears and ignorance is he's, you know, establishing very, very, um, you know, dangerous precedents. And I don't feel like, you know, that's something I want to be a part of. I feel like you have to, if you were to support Trump just because of some automatic reaction, because you've always been a Republican, it's, it's a very difficult thing for me to even imagine that because you have to own his behavior on Twitter. You have to own his past history that keeps President Trump from, um, you know, listening to the people who are, um, you know, inclined based off of their background, based off of their knowledge to help us the most. Um, so I found that I couldn't, I could no longer do that in good conscience. You know, I'm looking to support Biden and there was no doubt in my mind that somebody who, um, you know, regardless of platform, regardless of views has had a, a career, a lifetime of some sort of, um, you know, uh, statesmanship versus somebody who, um, you know, had devoted their life's energy to drawing attention upon himself and fell businesses and reality TV. It's, it's, it's clear to me that even if somebody is ideologically opposed, I get a better country if I have somebody who is, um, you know, dedicated to fulfilling the, the responsibilities of the office in the way that they're supposed to. And I, I believe that Joe Biden is a decent man. To have someone decent that represents a, a broader plane of views um, and is in a position to even court former Republicans just like myself more effectively, uh, that's really what I think that we need right now.